Hey, what's good? It's me, your boy. <laughs> this channel achieved a great milestone, which is the channel is monetized. Yes. And this means just a tiny little thing, which is Watch the ads! Watch the ads! I don't care what kind of ad you have If you have this guy, this guy, or this guy Make sure you watch those ads And click on them, like, I have no idea how they work Actually, I read somewhere that if you talk about houses Like buying houses You can get more revenue I'm like Bruh. We're just gonna chill in this video and talk about a new patch that I did and of course, buying a new house. Yeah, that's the gimmick of the whole video. If you want to support the channel, you gotta watch those ads. <laughs> hey, at the end of the video, there's gonna be the little extra gift for my Discord members, so make sure to stay tuned for that. So, in this video, besides buying a house, we're gonna take a look at Retro. And Retro, it's a clone of the RC20 Retro Color, which is one of the most famous lo-fi plugin available. Before jumping into the examples, let me just compare the RC20 to my patch. They look extremely similar and they of course have the exact same effects modules, even though they might sound a little different, don't get me wrong, they're not 100% identical, but you can still achieve the same result with both. So they both have a noise generator with an envelope follower, a wobble effect, a distortion, a beat crusher, a reverb, and a magnetic effect which is kind of a drop out effect, input volume, output volume, a width control, and a post EQ. My patch also has this little slider which is a ear filter, which is something that I took from the Isotope vinyl plugin. Let's dive into my patch. Damn, I'm so excited I might buy a house. In the next few days. As always, the first test is using a simple saw wave. I also have a triangle wave, which is for this patch kind of useful, and also a piano. And I'm using the Ethel Keys, the most basic piano sound you can have. And I guarantee you that you can achieve a very cool sound even from a cheap piano like the Ethel Keys. So let's set everything to zero. The first effect is a noise generator, and noise adds to your sound some noise which can be uh, a vinyl crackle sample, a VHA sample, so like an old tape recorder, or just white noise. With this big knob you control the volume of the noise, with this follow knob you can set how much the noise will follow the amplitude of your sound, and with tail it's just control the tail of the decay of the noise. This patch is all about making your sound more lo-fi, more dirty, which is great. You know what's great? Buying a house. The next effect is the wobble. And wobble emulates the pitch variations that were introduced to tapes and vinyls too. This effect is achieved by the combination of two LFOs, one a little bit slower, the wow, and one a little bit faster, the flutter. So you can control the speed of the two LFOs with these two knobs. And you can control the amount of wow or flutter with this slider. And of course with this big knob you're controlling the amount of variation. The next one it's a distortion and distort is just a very easy distortion module. It has two type of distortion. Those two knobs allows you to filter the sound before the distortion. Let's take a listen.
Very easy. It's as easy as buying a new house. The next one is digital and digital it's a bit crusher but also it has two other distortion modules. As you can see on top of the module there is this dry wet slider which controls the amount of the effect. Crunch it's a saturation symmetry it's a not bipolar distortion and with this big knob digital is controlling the amount of bit crusher. The next one is space, and everybody needs space, especially when you buy a new house. Space is just a reverb that you can control, and you can control the dimension of the reverb, the decay, and the amount of high frequencies, and with this big knob you can control the amount of reverb. The last one is magnetic and I think that the best way to explain this module is actually show to you what it does. As you can hear, it introduces some volume dropouts to your instrument to make it even more lo-fi. With the little slider on the top, you can control if this effect will affect the two channels independently or if they are linked. Great will control the amount of variation that will happen to your sound and smooth, it will control how smooth that effect is. On the bottom we have an input volume, an EQ that you can deactivate by clicking this and it has a high pass filter, a low pass filter and a tilt knob to make your sound more bright or darker. Let's take a look at the ear filter. So of course the more you go in the past, the more your sound will be in the mid range. With this knob you can make your sound more stereo or less stereo. The output, of course, it will control the output volume. There's also a bypass button which is always handy. So let's try to turn this very basic FL key default sound into something more appealing with this patch. Let's go. Pretty awesome, right? Let's take a look at the examples that I prepared.
damn, I really wanna buy a house right now. It's time for the little gift for the Discord gang. It's called June 69. Nice. So it's my version of the TC Electronic June 60, which is a legendary chorus effect. But of course you can find free emulation of this pedal on the internet. And I prepared a very quick demonstration of other June 60 clones that I use so we can compare the different sound of them. That's it boys, make sure to grab the retro patch, link in the description, and the June 69, nice, on my Discord server. Leave a like on the video if you like it, and watch the ads if you want to support the channel, and of course, buy a new house. Yeah.